Lee's Logbook. Hello and welcome to the next chapter of Lee's Logbook. I am Lee and this is our Pokemon Ultra Moon Wonderlock. On the last episode, we completed our quest to get as many encounters as possible. And I am back with some news. I have chosen a squad, and I have leveled them up, and I am now going to show them to you. So, in the front of the squad at the moment, we have our Magneton. Holding the Steelium Z, Metal Sound, Tri-Attack, Volt Switch, Flash, Cannon. After that, we have our Marini. Holding absolutely nothing. Venishock, Recover, Spike Cannon, and Toxic. After that, we have our Espeon, our Starter. Holding the Normalium Z, Bite, Morning, Sun, Swift, Psychic. After that, we have our Marowak. Not holding anything at the moment. Thrash, Iron Head, Fire Punch, Bone Meringue. After that, our Mimikyu. Faint Attack, Charm, Slash, Shadow, Sneak. Not holding anything at the moment. And finally, our Breloom. Leech Seed, Seed Bomb, Drain Punch, Mock Punch. I did a heck of a lot of training. And I... We have a squad. We have a squad! A usable squad of six Pokemon. And none of them are level one. Uh, and hopefully, we don't, we don't lose any of them anytime soon. But me saying that has probably jinxed it. But... Onward to further and better things. We have another route to go to. We have some things to do. So we're going to get right to them and we're not going to be afraid of anything anymore because we have a squad that doesn't have to be afraid. And that's, that's nice. Uh, it is, it is nice to have a full squad. Oh boy. It's taken a while to get back here, but we're back. We're back, baby. Which is good. Um, alright, so. Let's see, we're gonna finish going down this route. I don't know how- f Okay, apparently we're about to fight this person. Who do I have in front of the squad? That's fine. Um, actually, I need to check something. Because I was using the help of the experience share to help me train, and it is still on, now it is off. Okay, there we go. Back to normal, no more experience share. All right, dude. Let's let's battle. Pokemon battles are life. You're bashing our way of life. What? What? How am I bashing your way of life? I Pokemon battle too. All right, it's my way of life too. Rising Star Matthew, rude, rude. Kratidos. Hmm. I'm pretty sure Steel type is super effective against Rock type. So, I should be fine. Oh, yeah! Look at it! Oh, and the crit, too! Woo! Good job, Magneton. Good job! Ka -ka! Which is its nickname that it was given. I, I don't know. I don't know why it's called Ka -ka! but whatever. I don't care. Ah, is the best. All right, so we found another Hyper Potion, which is nice. I think I still actually have a pretty decent amount of Hyper Potions because I bought a lot in the last episode. Um, are there any more items? There's this item. Give it to me. X attack. X attack. Is this way the beach? What is happening? Oh boy. Why, young Lee, we keep running into one another, don't we? When I'm feeling stuck with my research into regional variants and totem Pokemon, that's when I come out for a spot of Mantine surfing. It's the secret to feeling all recharged. Though it does get my go-goat that I can't seem to ever beat that kimono-clad cad when it comes to a ranking board. What? Anyway, you keep collecting those totem stickers and enjoy our island challenge. I'll be around Hey Hey Beach on a Kyle Island if you ever need me. All right, thank you. 
Thank you, Mr. Thampson Oak. Uh, Ula Ula Beach. Noise, noise, noise. Do we want to go... Mantine Surfing? Actually, wait. Is this the place where I can get, uh, liquidation for the Move Tutor? Because if it is, then maybe I'll go get some BP. Uh, Aqua Tail... Zen Headbutt, Seed Bomb... No, okay, no liquidation. Mm. Although... Thunder Punch? Ice Punch? It's good to know. Uh, for now, we're, we're not gonna do anything here. I might come back and do some sort... Ooh, we have another one. The bottle! Will you open the bottle? Yes! What is in the battle? To whoever is reading this letter. I would be very grateful if you could deliver this letter to Nainoa, a trainer on Ula Ula Island of Alola. He should be at Meili City's Cape. And if you should, could challenge him to a Pokemon battle, you would be doing me a favor. I would go myself, but I figured you could get him warmed up for me. Just kidding, of course. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Hello, sir. You can look, but you can't touch. Uh, actually, you, you can touch, but you can't catch. All the slowpoke on this beach are managed and protected by the Alola region. Okay. I'm just gonna get some berries. That's alright with you, officer. I'm just gonna get some berries. Alright, I don't I don't wanna do any catching of slowpoke. I actually already have a slowpoke. So I don't even need one. I don't even need one. I don't even need it. Alright, so let's Whew! Continue down this uh this route. Continuing down route twelve. <gasps> route 13! It's a new route. Lee! Oh boy. Phew! That Togedemaru is strong, but I managed to get through the trial too. Maybe even managed to get a bit stronger, eh? I heard from Sophocles how you just breeze through that trial yourself, Lee. Here's something else. I know! You should take this! A max potion. Why, thank you. <sighs> you only have one volume, don't you? Haven't you ever heard the expression that silence is golden? Ha! <laughs> He's back! Listen, Team Skull is looking for a Pokemon called Cosmog. Do you two know anything? What? N not that we tell you! <laughs> so you do know something. Look, Cosmog isn't even a strong Pokemon, but it has the potential to summon Pokemon so terrifyingly strong that you didn't even know. If something like that happened, It'd be a disaster for Alola. A disaster? Like, a real disaster? Then what are we supposed to do about it? Protect it! <sighs> you do know where Cosmog is, or if you do find anything out, just keep it safe. I know I might be working for Team Skull right now, so you may not trust me or care. But I'm going to tell you this just once. You have to protect your Cosmog, no matter what. I still don't even know, I still don't even understand how Team Skull found out about Cosmog in the first place. What do you mean, no matter what? You just gonna leave us hanging? Lee, if they're really looking for Cosmog, then is Lily gonna be okay? I don't really get what's going on, but we've just gotta keep both of them safe, right? Then I know what I'm gonna do. Take on the next trials to train with my partner. Look, I know Guzma was saying all those things, but I really want to challenge my island challenge. I really want to complete my island challenge and help people learn about Pokemon battling. And I don't know, I've got to make sure I really get what my partner's feeling too. All right, you go do that, Hal. Go, go get him. All right, so Route 13. Is there a way to? Is there like grass somewhere? Well, first I'm gonna peel that sticker, and I'm gonna go in here. What is this? <gasps> Stuffa looks lonely and sad. No. I don't want it to be lonely and sad. That Pokemon in the next guest room has been waiting for its trainer forever. What kind of terrible trainer leaves a sweet Pokemon like that behind? <gasps> what? A trainer is missing. Can we take it, the poor thing? 
Oh, it's a sleeping rat rat. It looks so happy when it's sleeping. I just want to cuddle up and go to sleep too. You, you do you. Alright, so, oh, we found a moonstone. Um, but as far as, like, a Route 13 encounter, is this still... Yes! Okay, so this is still considered Route 13. Good! Good. This is how we get the encounter then. Oh, uh, game. Come on. Just... Give me an encounter game. Yes! That is a King's Rock. Not an encounter. But I will take it. I, I will absolutely take a King's Rack. Hello, person. Alright. Encounter this time. Encounter! Encounter! Fishing hates me. And somehow when I say that, I get an encounter. It's almost like the game is listening to me. Anyway. We got a wild wishy-washy. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to... Yeah, school. Like oh boy. It's a big wishy-washy. Um, can I throw a quick ball? Just real quick. Just real quick like... Hey, Nice! That wasn't too difficult at all! Alright, Wishy-Washy was caught. What do we want to nickname this Wishy-Washy? What do we want to nickname you? Why don't you check out what kind of Pokemon it is when it's, uh, the small fry Pokemon, when it's in a jam, its shining eyes attract others of its kind. The light from its eyes is visible almost 25 miles away. That is pretty impressive. Uh, I am going to give Wishiwashi a nickname, and it is going to be called... Uh... Pal... Pal... Pally... Pal... No, not... Not Palt. Uh, Pal... Pally... Pal... Wait, can I fit this? Wait, 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 can I fit, can I fit this? I can! I can fit this! But I want this to be uppercase. Or wait, should the O be uppercase instead? Eh, it doesn't matter. Nickname is Pally O'Malley. That's, that's the nickname. This wish washi is Pally O'Malley. No, wait, I did not mean to... Add to a party, get out of here. We're not adding you to a party. We're gonna send you a box. Send you to a box! Alright, cool. So that is one encounter for here. Hello, sir. I used to be a fisherman, but after I fished up a surfboard one day, I decided to become a surfer instead. Good for you! That's interesting. Um. <gasps> Wait, is this a desert that has Psycheum Z? Because I really want Psycheum Z. Greetings, trial goer. I'm afraid this is a captain's barricade. Only those who pass the ghost type trial can come through here. Ah, dang it. Alright, fine. Fine, have it your way. Hello, sir. What the heck you doing, huh? Someone say you could come in here? Not that I'm doing anything in here. I haven't done nothing. You want to scrap? Uh, yeah, let's fight. What? You, what? What? Uh, no, 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 no. I ain't got time for you. I just beat you silly anyway. Not worth it. So I'll just leave you with this. Use it to train up and come back when you're worth my time. Nice. The desert is like a different place every day because the winds are always moving the sand. And somewhere in that confusing mess lie the ruins of abundance. Maybe Tapu Bulu just wants to be alone. Tapu Bulu! He's the man. Tapu Bulu is finally, probably my favorite of the Tapu. Team Skull was born out of the old group that once formed around one of the old kahunas. That whole thing fell apart after they got smacked down by the wrath of the Tapu. 
You can't know who will get named a Kahuna or not, young, until they're chosen. Even humans sometimes have to live at the whim of some capricious Pokemon. Whoa. All right. <laughs> Call them out. Call them out. All right, so Route 13 encounter we got. What is this? This is Tapu Village. And there's Hal again. Hello, Hal. Whew! Look, Lee! Seems like we're almost to the Ether House, where the captain is supposed to be, huh? Uh, so that way lies Mount Lanakila, huh? I guess they're really making a Pokemon League up there on the peak. The professor told me that Pokemon Leagues in other regions have four crazy strong trainers in them that they call the Elite Four. The Elite Four in our island kahunas. I wonder which ones are stronger. I'm pretty sure my Gramps is the strongest, but I can't wait to find out for sure. What if he... Oh. Hey, Alola! And Alola to you, Lee and Hal. <laughs> so, this is top of village. We must learn all we can about this place. It, it seems there are many stories in its past, but once, long ago, the Blinding One battled against the Tapu in this spot. It's thought the power that came pouring out of the Ultra Wormhole at that time may be the source of Z-Move's power. Yes, the light that the Blinding One, I mean the light that Necrozma can wield. Um, our ancestors were greedy, though. They sought to control all of Necrozma's light. They hurt Necrozma. They left it incomplete, and in such a state, it went mad with fury. And so our light was stolen by Necrozma. Our world is at peace now, thanks to the Megalo Tower, which keeps the Blinding One contained. But we believe the tower is reaching its limit, and the Blinding One, Necrozma, hungers for light. The Blinding One may run wild in its fury, but it did also give us light once, so we would like to help restore the Blinding One to its true form. But we do not have even the slightest idea of how we can do that. If you learn anything that you might that you think might help, will you share it with us? After all, you're far more familiar with the Z moves than we are. Ta ta, Fico and Slira. I don't really get what that was all about, but it seems like those Ultra Recon Squad people are in a pretty hopeless spot, huh? I just wish everybody could be happy and find something to smile about, even that Necrozma, right, Lee? Sure. All right, so, uh, I believe. Mount Lanakila, we can get an encounter, but I'm also pretty sure if I level up um, my Magneton here, doesn't it evolve now? Didn't they make that a thing? Like, instead of Grand Pony Canyon, I could evolve it here. I think. Hopefully. I'd like a Magnezone. That'd be fun. That'd be nice to have. Oh, it's Eradicate! Hello there, Eradicate. Alright, Magneton. It's time to see if this will work, since uh, this is my Mount Lanakila encounter. Throw in a quick ball. Let's capture. No! Alright, fine. Okay, that did a lot more damage than I like. Um, I'm gonna Volt Switch. No! Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, this Raticate is clearly meaning business. Um, clearly, clearly, clearly. All right, let's bring out Braylon. Because I'm pretty sure Braylon can take anything this, uh, this Raticate can swing at us. Um, I'm going to try throwing an Ultra Ball. Just to see. One. Two. Three. Ah, uh, yeah. Alright, so we caught the Raticate. Magneton leveled up, and... We're gonna give Raticate a nickname. Uh, the Raticate's 
nickname is, uh, I don't know, fruit, 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 fruit. Its name is fruit. I'm just gonna call it fruit. Why not? I'm. S its name is fruit. That's. Uh, we want to send fruit to a box. All right. So no, that is. That is not the case. Um, for it did not evolve. So. Hmm. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, we're gonna heal the squad real fast, and then I think we're actually just gonna go wonder trade those. Well, actually, wait. Aren't we about to get another encounter in front of Aether House? Potentially. Hold on to that thought. I'm gonna check if we can get another encounter, and then if we can, then we'll just wonder trade all three encounters at once. It'll be crazy. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Alrighty, so that's... That's Tapu Village. Route 15! Alright, we can get another encounter. So that's what we're gonna do. It's encounter time! Ooh, excuse me, I'm sorry. I have the hiccup. I have the hiccup booba. The hiccupy de bicky deebies. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, so we found a wild slowpoke. I'm gonna throw a quick ball at it to begin. I don't know, scroll a quick ball. Just be caught. Just be caught, slowpoke. Just be caught. Let's do it. One, two, three. Yes. Awesome. All right, so we got the slowpoke, which is good. Very, very good, very good. Um, give Slowpoke a nickname. Absolutely. I'm gonna call Slowpoke... Uh, drowsy. Drowsy? That's the name of another <laughs> Pokemon. I'm gonna call it... Oh, I know what I'm gonna call it. I know what I'm gonna call it. I was gonna call it Lazy Boy, but then I just realized that it's a female, so I'm gonna call it Lazy Girl instead. There we go! Lazy Girl the Slowpoke. Uh... <laughs> we're decided to do a box, and now, all three of these encounters are about to be one to trade it off. Right. Now. Right. Wait. Wait. WAIT! Give me that. It's another Hyper Potion! Which I will never say no to. I can use Hyper Potions. What are we running into? Eradicate? No. No. No eradicate. No. Bad eradicate. No. No. Why did I click the fight button? I did not mean to click the fight button. The fight button was not the button that I meant to click. That was not the button. That was the wrong button. But now that we're here, I guess. I guess we're gonna just we're just gonna kill this eradicate now. Goodbye, eradicate. I honestly did not think I was pressing that part of the screen, but then again, I wasn't looking. I was just kind of pressing, and I pressed the fight button. Magneton wanted to fight. It was fate. All right, Festival Plaza, here we go. Woo, it is time for some wonder trading. My goodness, let's find out what we're going to get. Your game will be saved, that's perfectly fine. I'd like a saved game, right? Everybody likes saving their game from time to time. I don't even know what I'm saying right now while I'm waiting to save. Save, say, game, blame. All right, the communication mode is switched to internet. Now let's get wonder trading. Global mission is happening right now. Right now. All right, start. Okay, uh, first things first. Where did the wishy washy go? There it is! Alright, Pally O'Malley, get out of here. Get out of here, Pally. 
You valley O'Malley, get out of here. Get out of here. Alola Nice Doom from Mexico. Their name is Doom. What will Doom give us? A confet. Alright. Sure. I don't think we've ever had a confet before. Wait. Have we had a confet before? It didn't get added to the Pokedex. Have we had a confet before? And I just like... Forgot? Oh, no. Maybe we wonder traded a Kompei before. That, that I think is what happened. That's why I remember having a Kompei. Okay, cool. Uh, next is Fruit. Get out of here, Fruit. I don't know why your name is Fruit, but whatever. Maybe it's because you got some fruit in your cheeks. And you're just munching away at them. I don't know what I'm doing. I never do. But that's the fun of it all, right? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, squirm, squirm, clap, clap, clap. Tuan from Japan. All right, sending fruit to Tuan. T U A N. T -t -u -n. Juan. <gasps> what? That's awesome! We got a Larvitar! Oh my gosh. Whoa. Whoa. That's awesome. Oh, it's a Larvitar! Look at him! Oh, he's so cute, and also fierce and awesome, and evolves into a Tyranitar. The rock skin Pokemon raised on nutrients it finds in the dirt. It eats roughly a mountain's worth of dirt before it becomes a pupa. Pupitar. Uh, that is awesome. I am actually very, very happy to have a Larvitar, because Larvitar is amazing. Um, and now it's time to want to trade good old Lazy Girl. Bye, lazy girl. Ta-ta. All right, but yeah, Kope, Larvitar. What else will we get today? I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. Charlie from the United Kingdom. England, to be exact. Lola, nice. Nice, nice. And lazy girl to Charlie. Goodbye, lazy girl. Question of the day. Um, I don't know why I thought of this now, but pretty recently, daylight savings time, um, hap like, happened here, um, in Florida, where I live. Um, and I think. I don't know, I know there's parts of the United States that don't actually have daylight savings time. But my question to you is, if you do have daylight savings time, how are you adjusting to daylight savings time? And if you don't, do you... I... You are a lucky person if you don't. <laughs> because then you just get to have a normal life and not have to worry about clocks changing. Anyway, due to its short wings, it can't fly long distances and wanders about restlessly and pecks at bug Pokemon, the tiny bird Pokemon. But yeah. How are you adjusting to daylight savings time and if you don't have daylight savings time? Then... I don't know. How have you just... How have you enjoyed your march so far? Why not? 
Why not? All right, so uh, we are going to go see Acerola and most likely take on her trial, but it will have to be on the next episode. So if you enjoyed today's shenanigans, please leave this video a like. And if you want to see more, and you have yet to subscribe, then consider subscribing and more will be sent directly to you. Plus, you'll be a part of Lee's League. And as always, I will see you guys next time.